Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. This is Indranil and I welcome you all to my channel Programming is Fun. Today I am back with a new series and this time we will be creating a blog page or a blog website as you can see on the screen. And uh, this is a complete full stack application wherein we will be working on the front end, the back end and we will be using mysql to store all the data so as you can see on the page this is our uh, home page here and where i have a couple of dummy blogs okay so on the right hand side you can see we have the various categories and everything is coming from our database in a dynamic fashion so this information will get changed if you add or remove any categories in the database or if you add a new post in the database so this uh, information will get changed so let's say you click on this first blog uh, and the read more button so it will take you to the detail page of that particular blog post and where you can see the details that the images everything you you have there and that also includes the formatting of your content such as this section or this particular text is in bold as you can see so that that formatting is preserved uh we, we don't have the comment section working okay i will not be covering the comment part and i leave that as a challenge for you and i'm pretty sure once you finish this tutorial you will be able to uh complete this comment section as well next uh, we also have a admin page here admin section so we have two apps running uh, on angular the front end and the back end admin as well and as you can see on the top right corner i have this login button as soon as i click it it takes me to the login page and i'm not sure if i've noticed the url has changed so the front end was running on 4200 port number and my backend is running on a different port number that is 4300 and since i'm not authenticated at this moment so it's ask it's, it's showing me this login page so we are protecting our backend section and we'll see that how we can do it using guards and we will cover all that all those things when we start working on the project and there are a couple more things that we are also giving permissions using roles so if i sign in with a user that is not an admin i'll not be able to go to the admin section and it says you are not authorized to view this page because this account is not an admin and let's say if i uh, choose an admin account and if you notice all these fields they have form validation in place okay so if you leave this field blank you'll get this message that says email is mandatory and you will get this round uh, red bordered input field okay so now if i enter a user that has admin rights i click login so i get a message and there is a lot uh, admin section so all these uh, templates are free of cost i'll share the links with you these are from bootstrap official page okay and these are of course free free to use so on the left hand side i have a couple of links one for the dashboard uh, dashboard i haven't prepared yet okay so, the, so when you click on dashboard it will take you to my default post page here all post page here and just just in case if you want to go to the actual website you can click this button and you are taken back to the home page and now you see this admin button here earlier it was showing as login but now since i'm logged in so it, it uh, respects that um, login information and uh, signs me in based on the on my login attempt that i made a few seconds ago and if i click on admin again it will directly log me into the admin section it won't ask me for a second login or authentication prompt so here since i'm the admin i can go to post by default we are here 
I can create on I can click on the create new post. I will get this form and this nice text editor powered by tiny MCE. Okay, we will integrate that here so that we can write our content in a better manner. Okay, and we can use all these formatting tools that are available out of the box. We can also upload a picture here as our main image, select a category from this drop down and create the post. Similarly, for our categories, uh, we have a section here on the right hand side. You can enter the uh, category title and the category description and hit create category that will automatically pop up here. And in case if you want to change any category or any detail of, the ca of any category, we can simply click here and this will give us an inline uh, input field to edit the information and as soon as you add anything and hit enter so that information gets saved as you can see here and that information is saved in the database directly okay you click again remove the s hit enter that's again updated you can also create a dummy category here okay it's created updated in the database automatically and you can also remove it from here okay category removed so we'll learn all these things and of course i can sign out from here so logged out i am thrown back to the login page so we'll cover all these things in this entire tutorial series and i hope you will like it this time uh, in, in my in my earlier blog blog tutorial playlist i used um, node.js and express as my backend server but this time i will be using nest.js which is uh, which is built on top of Node and Express, of course, but it's, but it's more like the Angular framework. So the syntax, everything is, I mean, the interface is more or less like Angular. So anybody who has worked with Angular before would see it, uh, I mean, would find it easy to understand. But, but still, I will try my best to explain all the concepts and all the uh, things that i code there so that anyone who is new to nest.js should be able to understand the core concepts okay so with this i'm going to end the first video here uh, the introduction video here and i'll see you in the next video where we will be creating a brand new nest.js project and we will start working on the backend first so till then please uh, like this video subscribe to my channel in case if you haven't and i'll see you next time thank you and have a wonderful day